Hello everybody and welcome back. Today we are going to work on a plumbing plan for our Habitat for Humanity house and let's get to it. So the first thing we need to do is we're going to go to our ground floor plan right here and we are going to make a copy of it. So duplicate view, duplicate. So there we have it. There's our ground floor plan. And now that we're here, um, we need to basically get rid of items that do not need to be in the plumbing plan, such as all of our outlets. So I'm going to click on that, right click, hide in view, category, gets rid of all those. And I'm going to get rid of a couple of other things like the stove, hide in view. I'm going to go category with that as well. And then that gets rid of the appliances. So now I'm left with my sink here, water heater. Um, my refrigerator is here and I actually may keep that in view. So I'm going to unhide in view. And I'm just going to go unhide in view, just this uh, category here. Let's go back and I'm just going to do these individually. Element and the same thing with the range, hide in view, element. There we go. I'm going to keep the refrigerator there because some refrigerators do have a water line that goes to it, a small one, but let's put it in. Um, water heater here, all the bathroom stuff that we have there, sinks and toilets. All right, so now that we have this, we are gonna have to create new lines and in that to manage additional settings, line styles. Click the drop down, new, hot water line. Hot water. Okay, so I must have it in there already. So with the hot water line, yes I do, I have it. We're gonna change the line weight to four it's going to be red for color and it will be a dash dot dot hit okay or new sorry new or apply you're going to do the same thing for cold water cold water i already have it so i'm going to hit it's going to hit okay and cold water line weight 4 blue and it's going to be a dash dot dot you can use a dash dot dot dash dot dot eighth inch doesn't make much of a difference to me, as long as it's dash dot dot. And then we are also gonna create a sewer line for the house. So you're gonna go to new, right in sewer, line weight four, this is gonna be a green line, and that will be solid. So once you have that, just hit okay, or apply and then okay. So now is our three lines. Now the main water line for the house is usually gonna come in somewhere near the hot water, uh, hot water heater. So in my house, I actually have it coming into the house and right here. And then there'll be like a little meter, digital meter for the water authority to monitor how much water you use. And then it's going to branch off into your water heater here and then go to a number of different things. Now, since these are all on the same wall, it's actually going to have a line coming in and it'll come out from the water heater or cold water. It'll look like it. And then it's going to go directly through the wall for these. We do have space under our house so that we can run piping underneath two different things. And we also have uh, to go to here to this bathroom. Uh, if you're in a slab, same thing, you could run in through the slab or in some cases they'll run it through the wall and into the slab, just depending on how everything is. So let's get making our uh, main water line coming into the house. So we go to annotate. And from here, we are gonna go detail line. Cold water line is the line we're gonna select from here. And I'm gonna come straight in to here, right into my hot water heater. Now you can come directly into it or not, that's fine. Then from the hot water heater, detail line, I'm gonna come into the wall and I'll go directly into the toilet. So now I have that line. From here, I'm gonna branch Go there. So now I have cold water to those three appliances or those three items. Then going to come off of this um, water heaters in. I'm going to continue a line down from here. And since we're under the house, we go here, over, 
like that. And we would have one coming directly into there, so it would actually come up through the wall. And for this one, we can have it continue under the ground, under the house and come up through here, which would probably be uh, relatively easy, or it could come around through the wall. I would venture to guess that most likely it would come up right underneath the toilet. Uh, it'll probably come up into the wall and then go directly into it. All right, so that's part of the water for there. Now this one, I'm gonna model it coming around through the wall. So we were gonna have, this is the main line coming into the house, so coming off. What would most likely happen is it could even come off of here. I'm gonna draw a separate one coming out from the water heater into the wall, over, and then into the refrigerator. We'll say that it's getting its own. Draw a line here. And there you go. That is the cold water line for the house. Notice I have one going under the house up directly into these. And then this one I had come off and then go through the walls. Um, it's going to be the plumber, as long as he has an idea of what's being connected to what, will probably pick the best situation for either one. Um, I've been in houses where it's been almost all completely under and then some where it's through the wall and under and even in the slab. Hot water, we're gonna do somewhat similar. So cold water, now we go pick hot water. Now it comes directly off the hot water heater. So here, we know that hot water is gonna to have to go to here. It's gonna to go to my tub, sink, and this one over here as well. So the first one, I'm gonna have it follow. Same path and come in. All right, so that is for the hot water to go there. Relatively easy, right? Hot water doesn't need to go to the toilet. For this one, I'm gonna have it branch off here, then come off Go there, follow over, there we go. So now I got those going into the tub in there. And for this one, I'll what I'll do is I'm going to have it basically follow over and do here as well. So zoom in. All right, and we're bypassing the refrigerator. So now we have the hot water line for that sink. And that is the basics for the hot and cold water. Now for the sewer line. The sewer line is a little bit different. Sewer line is gonna basically connect to here, our sink, sink there, there, toilets, and our tub. For our sewer lines, we cannot have any 90 degree angles. Things must be at around a 45 degree angle so that if there's a clog or there's less chance for a clog, or if there is a clog, the tool or the snaking device that will go through will not get caught up. Usually, it comes in where there's a bathtub. It's like one of the bigger lines. So we're gonna go detail line, sewer line. Now our sewer line is gonna come in here from the house, and it can, can connect directly to these. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna have it come a little bit off. Actually, let's move it over right here. I'm gonna have it come right in line with this. So less chance. All right, well, let's, all right, so it comes in line here. Then from here, it's going to come this way. I'm going to actually draw the line something to here. Then it could make this angle like this. 
to here. And then come to here. All right, so nice sweeping angles like that. No 90 degree angles, about a 45 degree angle. Um, if we wanted to, we could even potentially show that detail line coming off from here like that. If you wanted just to show it in like that, this one should be fine. Uh, now for this one here, sink, uh, we could come off straight. And then it would have to connect to that line. Or we could do something from here. All right? That is our sewer line. There's a couple other components that we're going to need for this. We're going to need a clean out. That's going to be right outside the house there. And then we can annotate that with text. Do this one. Text. Maybe I'll do this one. Clean out. There's that right there. And then we're also going to need a number of vents. So the vents, we can go to annotate, detail line, and we could draw little circles in for the vents. You're going to need a vent over here in the wall. All right, and you can get the approximate size couple inch uh, diameter pipe, you vent there to vent out any gases that might accumulate in the line. You'd need a vent over here. We'll put that in the wall right over here. Once again, get the approximate location. It does not have to be perfect, but it's going to connect up to that line so we can draw it coming off vent there and I would also have a vent over here so now what I'm going to do is I'll extend this line directly to that I'll draw a line in for the vent I think the vent can come off straight that's not a problem it's just the vent and over here what I'll do is move this and connect directly to it. And there you have it. That is the cold water line coming into the house. We have all of our, um, we have our clean out and everything else we need for our cold water, hot water, and sewer lines to the house. And that's pretty much it. Um, this will then get placed into its own sheet. So let's do that. So sheets, right click, new sheet, 11 by 17 horizontal, hit OK. And then we can grab that. Oh, let me rename that. Sorry, I never did that to plumbing plan. We can take that and drag it in. So now notice it's a little big. So let's delete that. Let's go back into our plumbing plan. Bring in our crop region. And also, before I forget, we need to annotate our lines. So sewer line. Hot water line. and our cold water. Oh, text. Let's 
sewer line. Hot water. Cold water. All right. That is all good to go. Like that. Um, I could probably bring in that crop region a little bit more. Good. Let's hide that. Now I can take it over into my sheet. Rename that sheet. A12. Plumbing. Rename this other one while I'm here. Should be A one for one. Okay, so now in my plumbing plan, let's bring that, drag that plumbing sheet in, and it looks like I can go a little bit bigger. So that's eighth inch, three sixteenths, a little bit better. Can I go even more? Quarter inch. And I might be able to squeak that quarter inch one in there. And that is it. That is our plumbing plan. Make sure you save it. And that's it. Hope you enjoyed this one. You just created your first plumbing plan. Have a good day. Bye.